Hello, and here we are in the opening screen of Fusion 360. Now, this morning I have updated to the new version. So, it's a very, very slightly different to what the old screen was. Um, so, it's slightly different in starting. So, what we're going to do is come in here to File, New Design, Save the file as AMAX Okay, that will do. So we can recognize what it is. Um, we'll leave it under this under this heading, that's fine. Press save. So now we know we're not going to lose any anything. So let's just get out of get out of these. Let's keep that one. Okay. So what we need to do now is to come here and we want to sketch, which will bring up the board as it were. So we want to sketch on that surface uh, which is that one. If you press on that one it will face you. right? So we're actually drawing in two dimensions here and when you do that and you choose a a surface then the drawing tools automatically come up. Uh, the old screen you could actually go straight into this but it's just a little sequence you need to go through before you can get to this two-dimensional drawing screen so what we're going to do is come here to create I'm going to say we want to create a rectangle with two points I'm going to come here left click pull it out now this is a standoff boss for the NEMA 23's uh, that I'm going to design. So we're going to left click there. Now I'm going to right click here because I so left click and I want to give it some absolute measurements and it is it's actually snapped to 60 millimeters and that's exactly what we want. So we're just going to press enter and left click on that line left click on that line then dimension it to 60 millimeters that's absolutely correct and press enter so we need four holes uh, bored through here so if you draw it now it's it's a easier process I find anyway there are different methods to do this circle this one so I'm just going to roughly draw the circle here and I'm going to make that um, six millimeter press enter and press C. So what I did then, I pressed the letter C on the keyboard and it will allow me to do the same operation as the last operation. Six millimeter, enter. Down here in the rough vicinity, C, left click, draw it out, six millimeter, enter so it's you know very you can it's very quick in building up there we go six mil oh, and my fault six millimeter and press enter okay so we got four holes there but they're not in the right place so what we're going to do is I'm going to right click on that 
line. So we're going to give this a dimension of six millimeters. Press enter. And also from here to here of six millimeters. Enter. And it puts the hole in the right place for us. So I'll do the other three very quickly. So I'll speed this up. Okay, so that is completed. Now we're going to go back to our drawing tools. And we're going to pick a circle. We're going to come into the middle and we're going to draw this out. And this needs to be 41. 41.0 millimeters. Enter. And that's correct. Um, is in the center of that. And for now, that's all I'm going to do. I do need to cut a segment out here, but I just want to show you how to do that a little bit differently. So what we're going to do now is say, well, we finished our sketch now. And we're going to rotate the drawing around a bit so we can see what we're doing. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to extrude this out as a 3D object. I want that extruded and we're going to come out here 40 millimeters. I'm going to press enter. Let's uh, just rotate it back and these are our, our main boss. Okay, in 3D. And it's very, very simple. Alright, we're going to do a few things to this now. Um, first of all, we're going to take a segment out of here because we need an area to come in and uh, adjust, you know, tighten up the uh, little Allen screw which holds the shaft through here, the flexible little coupling and so we're going to go we'll choose that face all right so we're telling fusion 360 well we're going to work on this face now press that there and we're going to come here select a rectangle two points now let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing here Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to draw this freehand because it's not important really. I just need to, I think that looks, that looks fairly pleasing. Uh, and it's, you know, big enough for me to get an Allen key in there, so I'm going to press OK. Um, that is fine. Now I could, if I wanted to, give it a constraint and right click and say 20 millimeters and OK. And that is already 20 millimeters, so we're going to say, oh, we've finished the sketch. Zoom back out. Rotate this around, and you can see it's on that front face now. I'm going to say, OK, we're going to be working on this. So I'm going to say we want to extrude, and we want to extrude this area 
and we want to go in a negative direction so actually to make sure that we extrude all the material we're going to press shift that one and the lower section so it's not in three different sections now and we're going to catch hold of this and we're going to take it back through this way I'm going to take it back 45 millimeters so I know that it's completely gone out through the other side and it's in red so that means it's going to be eliminating the material and we're going to press enter and let's have a look catch out of the view cube turn it around that's exactly what we want but we haven't finished yet we're going to make it look a little tidier than what it is um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put a fillet on the outside we're going to put a fillet here on this corner uh, I'm going to press shift and I'm going to choose that corner as well shift and that corner and if I rotate it around should be able to pick up this corner and we're going to say we want a four millimeter four millimeter radius and there it is press OK and that should be on the four corners one two three four and it's as easy as that there is nothing difficult in that whatsoever you can catch out of the view cube and turn it around and have a look now the next thing you need to do as this is going to be a 3d printed object you need this you need to save this in a file format that the 3d printer is going to understand and in my case it's a flash forge Ad adventure 3 which is a, an enclosed unit which you'll see in the next video so we're going to come up here and save save okay so it's saved we're not going to lose it now so we're going to come up here and we're going to say well we want to export this file and we want to there it is there now there's many different files that you can export in uh, STL file is the one we require so we're keeping the name and we're going to say export okay so here it is in my folder so I'll just drop that down and put this on my desktop and open it in flash print and there is our part ready to be sliced and diced and sent to my 3D printer so there you are a not exactly a complex part but uh, you know a part easy part to make that you can have a go yourself and um, thank you for joining me and uh, please like and subscribe and don't forget underneath this video if you need to purchase Fusion 360 if you're a business or if you're a private person if you need to purchase it there is a 20% discount code but only with the address provided with that discount code uh, it is not available if you go direct to Autodesk the, itself 
okay they, they won't uh, recognize it it must be directed with that address that accompanies the discount code okay so I hope you join me for the 3D printing experience with Flash Forge Adventurer 3. I'm Roger Webb and thank you for joining me for this tutorial video with Autodesk Fusion 360. Bye for now. Thank you.